Yo what's good people it's Jay Cactus, and in today's video I'm gonna be making a rage drill beat so a lot of people have been asking me to make a rage beat they've been challenging me to make one and I want to accept the challenge but I wanted to add my own twist to it I just love merging two genres I think that you always get a unique sound especially with rage beats because rage is already a merge of two different genres so yeah I don't know how this one's gonna come out I've never made a rage beat before I've watched a few tutorials I've sat with a few people whilst they've made them but yeah this is gonna be brand new to me but before we get into it I want to give everyone a heads up that I'm dropping two new kits for Black Friday. So I'm gonna be dropping an 808 MIDI pack with 30 808 MIDIs plus the FL scoring files. So with the scoring files, you literally just drag them on and then it already has the slides and everything in there. But with the MIDI files, I found that sometimes when you drag them in, you still have to make the slide notes, slide notes. You have to click into them and change them. But with the scoring files, you just drag them straight in. And these are MIDIs from some of my hardest beats, some of my favorite tutorials. And I almost didn't even wanna drop this pack because I don't know, a lot of people say that my eight weight patterns are what makes me stand out but at the same time i figured that a lot of people could learn from them so yeah that's going to be out on friday and then i'm also dropping a hi-hat mini pack with 30 hi-hat midis as well and it's the same for them it's from some of my favorite beats some of my favorite tutorials and then some extras too so yeah these packs are going to be crazy and because it's black friday i'm going to put everything on my site 30 percent off so that's going to be all weekend running until monday but yo let's get straight into the video all right so i've opened fl and yeah i don't really know how this is gonna go like i said it's gonna be my first ever rage beat so let's just start by bringing up the bpm i think rage is made around 150 but i'm gonna start on 145 right now and then i might have to increase it and a plugin that i see everyone using for it is serum i don't have any extra banks for serum but i'll see what they've got i'm just gonna go to synth and i'll have a look through these so something like this or oh, this, this might be better. So let's just make some chords. What I'm actually gonna do is make it a major scale. I know that's like against all drill rules. I think it's in the drill commandments that you can't use a major scale, but because we're making rage drill, I think we'll just get a different vibe this way. What I've been finding is that the chords are quite full and I want the rhythm to be different. So instead of just extending the chord for every bar, I'm going to bring in another chord now. I like this card actually. There we go. And then I can extend this. And then just before the end, I could shorten this chord. I'm just gonna press Shift and D and then bring it out to like here and just add to the bounce this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then for the second one, I'm just going to copy this over and maybe change this second chord here. Bring some of the notes higher up. It feels weird making these kind of progressions though. You can't add no dot violin to this. That might be the one. All right, I'm liking this so far. I don't want to go overboard with the top melody because I want to use a different instrument for that. But I'm going to randomize the velocity here. Oh, 
And then now I'm going to layer this with something just a little bit deeper, maybe a pad. So I'm going to pull up expand for that. I'm just going to paste the chords in and get rid of that little top layer there and then bring it down an octave. And I just want something warm sounding. Something like this would work. Or this actually. I kind of like the way this sounds by itself, but let's see it with the main serum preset. So yeah, now that I've laid it, obviously the second one gets a little bit lost, but it still makes it fuller. So I'm going to keep that. I'm just going to take out some lows from that first one. I'm going to take out some of the highs from the second one too. But it's not needed. All right, and for the top layer, I'm going to have to go quite high up this. So I want something like a lead. And I'm going to use Electra X. I feel like it's definitely going to have some sounds that will fit the vibe. And plus, I haven't used this in a long time. And what I want to do is slide the pitch. And I know you can do that within the plugins. So for example, in Serum, I think you turn up the porter. But what I want to do is bounce out a one shot of the Electra X preset and then use slide notes like I would with a bass and see if I get a different sound. So I've just taken a long note in case I need it. And then I'll turn on the envelope. Could maybe keep a bit of release, but then just make sure that it's somewhat of a shape like this. And then I'm going to copy that in. So yeah, like this one, for example, I could turn that into a slide note. I feel like this way I've just got a little bit more control and I'm going to turn the attack up so it doesn't have such a sudden start. Yes, I'm liking the way this is sounding. I'm just going to repeat this process for the rest of it. All right, so we've got this now. I think it just sounds a little bit better like this. And then I just want, I think this might be the last sound. I'm going to move that back just a little bit. Yeah, I think it fits better though. All right, cool. I think that's enough for now. Let's start adding in some drums. You know what, for the count snare, we could use one of the midis in the new kit. I haven't structured this properly yet, but I know there's some good ones in here. And for the eight weight, I've been using a few different ones recently. I've been using the Marvin one and a lot of the UK stuff. I've been using this Crime 808. This is going to be added to the Pricket Volume 4. I'm updating it right now with a few new 808 sounds. So hopefully this will be ready by Friday. But I think for this one, I think I want to go back to the good old trusty fat and wide.
And I don't really want to add too much to this beat. I think because the melody is so full, I don't need to add a bunch of perks. So I don't want to go too wild with it. And you know what I'm thinking to do? I think I want a trap section in one part of the beat. I don't know if the trap section is going to be the hook or whether it's going to go somewhere else. But just in case, I'm going to make another pattern with trap drums. This one a slide note. Alright, cool. So I think that's going to be it for the trap drums. Like I was saying, I don't want to add too much to this one just because the melody is quite full. So I'm just going to start arranging it. I'll finish mixing it. And then as always, I'll show you the outcome. Alright, so finish mixing and arranging the beat. And yo, this one's just so different to my usual stuff, but I kind of like it. But with the structure, again, it's a little bit different. I didn't really know whether to have the drill beat as the hook or the trap section. I've kind of got it in my head that the trap section is the hook, but I'll play it and talk you through everything. So in the intro, I'm just starting off with the main melody laid with the pads. Jay Cactus. Jay Cactus. I'll cut out the middle section and save that tiny count melody. Come straight into the drill drums. To save that kick though. And then the proper count melody comes in. That's why I rendered it, just to get those chops. And then just as a transition before the trap section, I wanted to take everything out and add this filter. And then the trap it comes in. So I'd probably keep this bit as a hook. So after the trap section, a little bit of a bridge, just like the intro, and then back into the drill. So it's a bit of a different start off. And then the rest of it just repeats from there. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you're feeling the beat. And if you're liking this merge of Rage and Drill, let me know in the comments. Like I said, this was brand new to me. It's the first time I've ever tried it. So let me know how you think I did. And once again, the brand new 808 and hi-hat midi packs are going to be out this Friday on my site. And everything's going to be 30% off for Black Friday running until Monday. So definitely stay tuned for that. And once again, I appreciate you all for watching and I'll see you next time.